Each Thursday, we bring you a missing persons case from across the country. And today, we have an update to a case we have covered before that has gripped the attention of people from all over the world. Today marks two years since a little girl in Tennessee vanished from her rural home. Her name is Summer Wells, and what you're seeing here is a brand new age progression photo from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. This is what Summer may look like today. She'd be seven years old. She was five when she disappeared. All of the attention on Summer's case has led to dead-end tips for investigators, even harassment towards her parents. Now law enforcement are tight-lipped about what they know about the case. Summer's father sat down with News Nation to keep his daughter's case in the headlines. This is Summer Wells. The five-year-old lived at this house in Rogersville, Tennessee, a tight-knit community of less than 5,000 people. On June 15, 2021, her parents say Summer was helping plant flowers with her mom and grandmother. And she wanted to go into the house. My wife watched her go into the door, and she went into the house, and the boys were on the internet, of course. She wanted to go downstairs and play with her toys. I yelled downstairs for her a couple times, and I didn't get no answer, which was unusual. And so I went down there to check, and she was nowhere in sight. Two years after her parents, Don and Candace Wells, gave those accounts, that's still all we know about the last time Summer was seen. Almost immediately, Summer's parents became the center of a police investigation. Summer's parents, Candace and Don, had something to do with this, or have you ruled that out? We haven't ruled anything out. Everything's possible. Could she have gotten herself into a situation where she, it wasn't her fault, but no. You know what I mean? No. She was, uh, she's a good mother. She, um, she loves her children. She's not going to allow any situation like that. The biggest make sh mistake she might have made is maybe choosing some wrong friends, which is, you know, it happens. Don Wells pleaded guilty to driving under the influence last year. Candace also filed an order of protection against him, but asked for it to be dismissed. He now faces criminal charges in three states, including a domestic assault arrest in 2020. Two years later, investigators have not charged either Don or his wife in connection to Summer's disappearance. Everybody makes mistakes and we all have to learn and go on. We're doing better. It's, it's still very rough for my wife. Don Well sat down with News Nation to talk about where the case stands today. His wife hasn't sat down for an interview since this appearance on Dr. Phil in 2021, where she walked out of an interview in Texas. No, I'm being interrogated again and I don't want to do this anymore. Yes, I am. <laughs> we'll, we'll stop. You just, I want you to feel comfortable. Since Summer's disappearance, Don says their life has been consumed by harassment from people online who believe they're responsible for whatever happened to Summer. Well, you know what? You're getting a mob going. My wife could go to the store and somebody would scream at her baby killer. <laughs> He sent us videos from one of his job sites where some people were demanding to speak with him about the case. Don says it's gotten so bad he had to leave the state. Now the two live in a motel in Arkansas where Don was able to find a new job. As for Summer's case, Don says they have private investigators working with police. The Hawkins County Sheriff's Office is still working alongside the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Both agencies declined to give us an interview. Don says he hasn't learned anything new from police, but has always said he believes Summer was abducted. In the past, the sheriff said there's no evidence that happened. Nothing pointing to abduction, nothing pointing to foul play, other than her walking outside the house and, and not being found. There was also a key tip from a neighbor in 2021. A woman and her teen children told police they heard a scream about an hour before Summer went missing. I wish every day that when I heard that scream, I hadn't tried to dismiss it. But the sheriff said after multiple interviews, that tip led nowhere. One clue they're still looking for is a pickup truck seen in the area around the time Summer vanished. It's described as a red or maroon Toyota truck with ladders on the back. Even if it's found, police aren't sure if the truck is connected to the case. I do have hope. Whatever the outcome is, I have hope in God. One day, either sooner or later, I will be with my daughter again. 
The sheriff declined an interview in the case. He did email us, though, saying he expects an update on the case in the near future. Also, Don and Candace have three boys. They were taken by child services a month after Summer's disappearance. Don says they have not been allowed to talk to their boys in half a year, but he hopes to get them back. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.